Welcome, everyone. I'd like to tell you I have some really wonderful news. Um, I have a new co-host, and her name is Dr. Anita greenberg Belli. Anita, you want to tell them a little bit about yourself? Yes, my name's Dr. Anita greenberg Belli. I have lived in Old Bridge for about 30 years. I've been on the council for over eight years now, and I'm happy to serve the public in Old Bridge. I'm a veterinarian. I'm a partner with my husband at the East Brunswick Animal Hospital, and I'm really happy for all the good things that have been happening in Oldbridge. And I'm more than that, I'm happy to have Councilman Peschetti with us here today. Yes. And how are you today? I'm great. How are great. you? Very good. Thank all you. Right. And so happy to have you here. Uh, I would be remiss, though, if I did not mention my former co host, Debbie Walker. Debbie has now become our mayor and we are so happy to have her there. She will be back again, though, on shows in, in the future. So thank you, Debbie, for being such a great co-host. And on that note, I would just like to congratulate Debbie Walker. I want to thank her for running for mayor, and, uh, and she won. And, you know, so far she's doing a great job. She delivered the budget to the council, and we're going over it line by line. And um, it, from my first view, it is... Fantastic. She did a good job. She's already hit the ground running. Mm. Good. You know, yep. so we I'm really happy that uh, Debbie's our mayor. Next four years, I'm very excited to see what, uh, what, what what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm just so positive right now. Good. You know, good. on, good. on that's everything that's need. going on. Yep. That's yes. what we need. Oh, uh, thanks. Yep. Uh, would you like to start out by telling us a little bit about your award? Yeah, our uh, Ward 5 is actually the largest ward in Old Bridge, and we do not have a pizza place. <laughs> <laughs> That's <is> unique. <laughs> that is unique for Old Bridge. We have a lot of good pizza places. Yeah. Uh, but our ward, uh, it's large. I live in Southwood, which is on Southwood, I'm on Southwood Drive, and that's the border of 5 and 6, and it runs all the way down to the airport, Old Bridge yeah. Airport. Okay, so it's a, it's a large section of Old Bridge. Yeah, very yeah, nice and it's, section. It's a beautiful. wonderful, wonderful. Uh, What's you know. unique about it in your opinion? Oh, the people always make it unique. Perfect. You know, yeah. uh, people are just uh, fantastic. Oh. You know? That's so nice to know. So kind, mm -hmm. nice, mm -hmm. you know, great neighbors. Um, just people are, are just genuinely uh, kind. Yeah, well, you've been involved for a very long time. You've lived here how long? Uh, my parents moved out here from uh, Long Island uh, when I was five years old, and I had a small stint when I was 18. I lived in Florida, but I came back, mm -hmm. and I've uh, been here ever since. So you're a hometown boy. I'm a hometown boy. Really uh, nice. Grew up on Margaret Street, mm -hmm. and uh, it's great. It's wonderful. Very good. You know, so I've seen a lot of change. You know, a lot of good stuff, some mm -hmm. bad stuff. I mean, you know, what can you do? Old Bridge is a wonderful town. You know, it's a magnet for people. People want to move here because it's such a great town. I mean, just just look at it. I mean, the, the parks alone. If you compare us to East Brunswick, we're right. well, head that was going to be our next question yeah. to you. Oh, I'm sorry. No, no, that's no. I mean to great. jump. No. I can tell you're very enthusiastic yeah, no. about your war. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's yeah. great. I mean, you've been involved for a long time, even before you were on the council, right, with sports football and, and sports yeah. and everything. Yeah, I was. Uh, I was um, the president and treasurer of the Old Bridge Athletic Association, which the Old Bridge Rams uh, in South Old Bridge uh, for many years. And I was a coach, and um, that was a lot of fun. You know, my kids came up through the program. Mm -hmm. And then as the kids moved out of the program, you, you know, you, you really got to give other people well, a chance. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, So what kind of recreational do you have in your, in your ward? Well, we have football, baseball. We have, we have it all, really. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, Old Bridge is, is a mm -hmm. great place. Yeah, I mean, it, it is. There's so many parks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, including Menino Park, which is not really in my ward anymore, but it was named after Peter. Ward 5 Councilman. Yeah, uh, Peter Menino, right? Peter Menino, yeah. yeah. And, um, you know, they're going to add the uh, baseball fields there, and uh, Sierra South uh, Little League yeah. is going to move there, which is great mm -hmm. because they're, they're, their fields always got flooded out. Yeah. You know, it's a shame for the kids, you know, mm -hmm. and they right. tried to keep that... Uh, they put a up lot cap, of work they put a lot of work. They yeah. built a new clubhouse there, yeah. Yeah. you know. So, uh, so they're they're going to move over, which is great. Yeah, you know? yeah I think the they're very excited about that yeah. too. Yeah, yeah. this yeah. is what this is a good initiative. You yeah, know, get more use out of it. 
Yeah, He's and really and nice. then and then the, the the adding of five more pickleball courts. Oh yes, and Mayor Debbie's all excited that. about that. <laughs> Mayor Our Walker. Mayor loves that. <laughs> yeah, um, and bocce ball courts coming. Yes, you know. So uh, a lot There's of it's going to be something for everybody there. Yeah, a lot oh, of significant nice. investment. Yeah, you know, yes. we do. We we put Capital. money back into mm -hmm. the town. Um, when I work, I, I work in Newark sometimes, and you see the roads. The roads are horrible in Newark, and the money that they pull in through taxes and, mm -hmm. and fees and stuff, and, and they don't fix their own roads. Mm -hmm. But they, look at Old Bridge. Old Bridge is fantastic. We, we, yeah. Every five years, we're going through every road. Yeah. You know, well, I so, think it's very important that all of us have focused yeah. on that to, uh, with the taxpayer when they send in their money. We want to give something back. And like you said, with the parks, it's really important for people to get out there, enjoy, you know, be healthy. Like, that's where you should spend your time. Yeah. You know, outdoors is very good. Yeah. Your mind, your spirit, everything. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. absolutely. And talking about um, paving, we have a grant, yep. right, that's going to pave Rockmorton Lane. Yes. You know, so no cost to the taxpayer. Yeah. So we have, um, you know, we have a grant. We have the grant writer people that are uh, go out and they look aggressive. for these grants. Mm -hmm. They're very aggressive yeah. to get uh, money for us. And this way we don't have to use the local tax money right. to do infrastructure. It's, it's really good. We got people that really try. We have a great, uh, we got a great team in Old Bridge. We got yes, we good department heads, mm -hmm. great department heads. Mm -hmm. uh, we got a new business administrator. She's doing great and, um, you know, so we have great employees, you know, and they all try, and they're trying to uh, reduce costs, you know, and uh, do a good job for us, yeah, and they, they do. Hold the line. You know, the, the old adage about um, government workers are lazy no. and they don't work, no. it's not that's true a, in Old Bridge. I think, I think our um, employees yeah. take a lot of pride in the they things do. that they, they take do, a lot and of pride. the department heads always are looking for ways to make things better for the town yeah. and for the residents. Yeah. No, I agree with you, yeah. definitely. So what would you think, even though there are individual wards, six mm -hmm. of them, what unites the town? What brings us all together? Well, what brings us together is that we're humans, we're people, mm -hmm. and we're all just trying to do the same thing. We're trying to support our families, live in peace, and um, you know, enjoy life. Mm -hmm. And I think that is a com there's a commonality, a common bond, right. where you see people in the line in, in the supermarket and you're just uh, conversing, mm -hmm. you know? And you can see, you know, it's, a lot of people are hurting. You know, a lot of people are hurting, whether it's financially or health or whatever it is. And we have to realize that, you know, uh, we have to care for people, mm -hmm. you know, and, and uh, you know, we, we have to consider that everybody's going through something, mm -hmm. you know, and, uh, you know, I think that's, I think just uh, the we people. I think we're very accessible to our residents, yes. that if they have an issue, whether it's Ward 1, 2, whichever ward it may be, that there is someone here to help you. We try to look at it as a whole town and, and do projects, like you said, road projects, things as a whole town so that everybody feels connected. We try to have events mm -hmm. that will bring people together. You know what I mean? We right. did in this summer we did, you have Saltwater Day. You have all kinds of events that we sponsor, mm -hmm. Old Bridge Day. And those are the Concerts times everybody the gets together yeah. as a, a town, Old Bridge. We're big. Yes, we are. So I think by having individual council people, but also it, at large, people are, are where we do, we are here. And we will help anyone, anybody who has any kind of an issue. Yeah, my focus is Ward 5. However, I get calls from of course. people all over town. And um, I am happy to help because... Mm -hmm. That's I. That's what I think I'm yeah. a councilman for is to help exactly. the resident. Mm -hmm. You know, no when they have an issue, no matter what it is, if I can help them, I want to help them. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, inside it feels so good when you can help yeah. somebody. Well, you're in the housing authority, you sit on the housing authority, mm -hmm. and that's a big, yeah, big that's board. A big chunk. It really, really is. That's well, the housing that helps people. The housing authority was run by an outside a vendor, and mm -hmm. and they were actually a competitor to Old Bridge, so they didn't have Old Bridge's best interest uh, in mind. So uh, we, I now am the chairman of the Old Bridge Housing mm -hmm. Authority. We changed over the entire board, and we have a, 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 we are um, running the housing authority with all Old Bridge interest. We looked at the list. The list we found people that were tw uh, on the list for twenty years. 
Wow. So and it so hasn't been reviewed. It wasn't purged. Reviewed. It's yeah. supposed to be purged. It's, okay. No, it wasn't purged. And the uh, we 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 purged it. So now uh, Monday morning, a list is going to open up for new uh, applicants. Great. And once it reaches 125, the list closes. So it's okay. probably going to fill very quickly. Yeah. But we are, you know, we are mind, you know, Old Bridge resident minded. Perfect. You know, we want to make sure that these people that really need housing get the housing. So we're our, you know? we're a community that cares. That's yes. at the end of the day, I would say that's how we feel. We care. Yeah. We we're care. outreach. We want yeah. to help. And just like you say, if you get a call from somewhere else, it may be simple just referring to them, the referring them, directing them where they have to go, you right. know, and then that helps them in a long way. Yeah, I, do, I get calls from people outside of Old Bridge yeah. asking me, what should I do? And I can tell them what part of the town yeah. they should speak with. Yeah. You know? So as far as the um, housing authority, that's another unique thing about uh, Ward 5. You have Mar Matter, right. that's, you have yeah. Chuck Costello. So, right. you know. Well, Chuck Costello is the first um, assisted living in the state. The first needs, one for special, right? right. Yeah. First one. That's uh, independent it's wonderful. living. And it's such a self sufficient. It sits back yeah. off Route 18. Um, and it's a great facility. We also have yeah. Mar Manor, which is low income mm -hmm. and senior, mm -hmm. senior low income. Yeah. Which is very much needed. I mean, t yeah. times are tough for people. Yeah. It really is. It is. And uh, a new development going up on, on Marlboro Road, which is called Vista, oh, it's 72 place. units and it's uh, disabled veterans preferred. Right. So, um, which, is, which is very much needed. And it also, it helps us with our COA court requirement mm. that we have to have so many houses built in the, so, so much time. Mm. You know, I mean, there's nothing you can do. No, the courts are forcing for us. That's disabled veterans. Yeah, it is. something available for it is, them. But it is, but it also has a dual mm. purpose, right? It yes. also yeah. helps us solve that other issue. Yeah, but that's, mm. that's another project that's very, very worthy. So we try to think in terms of balancing things and bringing, you know, to the community mm -hmm. projects that will enhance it. And as you said before, we'll help people who need it. Yeah. So that's a great thing. Yeah. So what what else are we going to finish? Also, I up? know um, throughout your ward, because when you say you get calls from people um, that, you know, are outside of your ward, I, I also get calls from people that they're concerned about the roads, but they don't realize, I don't think, and maybe it's good that we talk about this, that PSC and G is coming in and doing the new gas lines, the utilities, but they can rest assured that all the roads will be brought back to new and standard that right. they're going to pay and when the, they're done. And the great part about that is that when they uh, improve the infrastructure with the new gas lines, which allows a higher pressure gas so people can run their gas generators. Mm -hmm. And uh, once that uh, infrastructure is complete, then they will pay for the repaving. Mm -hmm. of that portion of the road. Exactly. Yeah. So and patience till it gets yes, all Yes, definitely patience. Yeah. It'll, it'll all get repaid. <laughs> you know, we all then need will, patience. Yeah, then it will be, it's okay. it will be right. really nice. But these little things turn out to be big things when you add them all up because it doesn't cost the taxpayer anything. Yeah. Right. You know, and that's, yeah. That's what it's, it's all about. We're, we're here yeah. for the taxpayer, for the resident, or, right? Yeah, and sometimes it does, like Cottrell Road. We've been, you know, it's been no, oh, that was a shame, that one. But they're, but they're doing, they're making progress, and it takes a little time. Yeah, that's a Cattrell Road's a county road. Right, And, right. you know, that is taking a long, a it, long time. Yeah. Yeah, know, that's the it. the county blew it on that one. If you ask me, <laughs> well, you know, well, we won't was, go into we that. It's <laughs> another day. That, I love but um, you know, just so it, you know, people do realize that it will get done, and hopefully, will be right. better than it was before, right. and solve a lot of things as far as with the water. So, what yeah. attributes does Old Bridge have that entices people to move here? Do you think oh. you said it was a magnet? Are you yeah, kidding? It's a magnet. So. First of all, Old Bridge is located centrally between New York yeah, and Philadelphia. That. Location, location, location. It has location. It has mountains, lakes, Everything. ocean. State Park is gorgeous. Oh, the parks. I mm. mentioned the parks already yeah. alone. Uh, we have town. a lot of parks. Mm -hmm. You know, we have a new chief mm -hmm. and... Um, the, the, the rank and file seem to be very excited about this new chief mm -hmm. and... Uh, you know they do a good job. I mean, as a as a whole, they're a, they're a working unit. And they you know, respond. They, they're so so kind. They're to available, they're responsive. Yes, Th they, I, I will say one thing. I will say one thing about the police. What I would like, I would like a, 
a shooting range for the police, a 300 yard shooting range for them, because whenever they have to go for um, recertification, uh, yeah, the certification yeah. for the long range snipers, they have to go outside of town. And when you do that, you're without, you know, a resource. So, you know, I, I, I would really like to get that uh, in Old Bridge, you know, okay, so. That sounds interesting. But anyway, um, there's, a, there's a lot attracting, yeah, you know, is. people to come here. Also they because are. our AA um, right. bond they're rating financially is good. financially good. Um, the housing market, you know, because of this, being a safe community and having all the facilities that we do, have all the programs that we do, whether it's oh, a senior library. center, whether it's the rec center, programs they have, our schools, our, um, libraries, our library, truly there's a, something here for everyone. It's and true. that's what's the truth. And we have great restaurants. Over. Yes, But it is <laughs> nice and it's very diverse, the town, and yeah. diverse in so many ways, yeah. like um, you said just about the, the ocean front, you know, as far yeah, as you can walk um, down by the beach, yeah. you go in the mountains. Yes. Yeah. I mean, we have an airport. Do I mean, know? that's pretty significant yeah. too. Mm -hmm. And uh, so it really mm -hmm. is. Really and it feels hospital. like a small town. A hospital, which yeah. is critical. Yeah. Critical. Yeah, it does. It feels like a small town, even though it is large, large. geographically. Mm -hmm. I think we. It really has that nice, like you said, people talk to each other. You know, it's a it's a nice atmosphere. Yeah, and it you is. know, we have Raceway Park. Mm -hmm. Now, Raceway Park uh, doesn't do the Summer Nationals anymore, no. which a lot of residents are happy about. Yeah. But they do this um, uh, this other racing. It's uh, Formula Drift, it's called. Oh. Yeah, and uh, oh, they've wow. been doing that. They have a big three-day event coming up in June. Nice. They also have an ATV uh, training facility where you can take your... Uh, teenage child yeah, there to learn how to uh, drive ride safely. and drive sure. safely. Safe. Yeah. Safe. Yeah, safe, safe, safety. Safety. You know, so it's is, really good. It's uh, good yeah. for all ages there. So there is so much to do here. Yeah, there is. It really, really is. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Well, this has been very informative, mm. and it was a pleasure having you on. And thank you so much for all the information. I knew nothing about that floating the for the the, the formula race that's going to yeah, be. Yeah, yeah. That's great. That was a really <laughs> nice thing. Do it, but no. But I'll go look. No. You can watch. But ATV. Yeah. Take an ATV <laughs> yeah. lesson. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, Mary. All right. <laughs> thank you so much for being with us today. Mr. Paschetti, we appreciated you. Tony is the council person in Ward 5, and it was great having you here discussing all that's so wonderful about your ward. Thank you again for being joining us. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you for watching us today. We look forward to you joining us again at our next episode of Council Corner.